our application is taking shape, and we have a basic results view. Now we can add some bells and whistles. We'll start off by adding highlighted snippets to our results to show the matching keywords. Then we'll add the ability to change the field our results are sorted by, and wrap up by grouping our results into aggregations. Highlights provide users with valuable context and can give them the information that they need to further refine their results or reaffirm their selection. In other words, showing users why the search results have been returned is an important part of search. One of the ways that we can do this is to highlight words that match their provided query. Implementing highlights in Elasticsearch is fairly straightforward. First, we create a highlight object, and then we add title and detailed description as fields within that object. We will further set the number of fragments for those highlights to zero, meaning that the full field will be returned. This works for our needs because our fields are relatively small, but for a field with larger values, you should return a subset of that field in most cases. Looking at the response from Elasticsearch, we can see that an additional highlight object is now returned with the results. The highlight object contains the highlights of the fields for this document. In order to match these highlights with our search results, we add a function inside of our format results function that tests for any field names that have a corresponding node in the highlights object. We will use the Angular for each function to loop over each field in our document source object. The for each function passes the value and the field, which is the object key, into our function. If they do exist, then we replace the document dot underscore source value with the highlight for that field. You will also notice that in a case where the highlight object doesn't exist in the Elasticsearch result, we set it to an empty object. This makes sure that the function doesn't error out when we attempt to look for a highlighted field within it. If the highlight array does exist, then the function proceeds as normal. Then we replace the source field with its highlight. One major difference between the original fields and the new highlighted fields is that the highlights contain HTML that needs to be rendered in the page. For instance, by default, each individual highlight is enclosed inside of an M tag that will need to be displayed as HTML to be useful. However, Angular does not allow us to directly insert HTML values into the application for security reasons. So we first need to include the ng sanitize JavaScript module and then make that available to our application. Once the sanitize module is hooked up, we can then bind the highlight HTML to our search results using the ng-bind-html attribute inside of our search template. You can see now that on our results page, the matching terms are highlighted, which allows us to quickly get an overview of the relevant text. This wraps up adding highlights to our search application. In the next video, we will add the capability to sort our search results based on either relevancy or price.